So this is Henry of Henry's Projects and this is kind of an update where I'm in the middle of a fermentation cycle to anybody who's been following this and I have this like really bargain basement winery right now I'm just focused on fruit wines and if you're here particularly plum wine which is my favorite um, I just wanted to show how I make carboys that are almost for free they come from like a dollar store standard beverage but they're a pet bottle and they're made for pressure what's really important here is that when you buy them you're not really buying them for content because you don't care about the flavor you want to make sure that the bottom all the lobes on the bottom are intact and they're not bent in from shipping and that there aren't any obvious fractures or dents or, and that the, the bottle is, is intact now at that point you do not want to open this bottle before you do the next couple steps. Reason being, when the bottle is pressurized, the walls are quite, um, well, they have pressure. They sound like a bell. And later on in this series, when we make sparkling wine, um, you need to learn how to judge how much pressure is in there by the sound. You shouldn't try to carbonate sparkling wine too early, it might explode, but um, it does make a characteristic sound. This isn't pressurized. Ooh, see, it's, it's like telling how uh, ripe a melon is or something like that. So anyway, bring them in and you cut off the loose labels and then you scrape them the flat side of a, like a steel uh, ruler any kind of a steel thing that doesn't have an edge it just has a 90 degree angle because you've got to get the plastic film the silver skin off of the uh, the goo to get rid of it there's another kind of label here which are little uh, ink labels they put on them for date codes and things and if you want to really end up with a really happy crystal carboy you you really have to take these stages because if you deflate this too soon and try to scrape these labels off you can actually dent these things in now between this stage and this stage the only difference is the contents have been drained out and it's been filled up with water and, and rinsed a few times and it has at this point a little bit of Dawn detergent in it. And what you're going to do then is you take this off and you cut this ring off. It's easy to do. You have to be careful not to damage the threads. But when you cut this ring off right here, which was the safety seal, you now have the pressure lid left and it's not interfered with and it can hook up to your crystal carboy.